Los Angeles is a very beautiful city. I've been living here for 68 years. I just enjoy the beauty, you know. I love art and every stuff in Italy. All the arts from the past is the most high expression of art of all time. During the Renaissance time you could meet Michelangelo, you could meet Leonardo, you could meet Raphael walking here. If a modern architect wanna build uh, something like the Duomo, he can he can do it. Simply can do it because it's the most uh, beauty in, in the world. The historicals say that the Renaissance was born in 1401. Nobody knew at that time that from medieval time we're going into a Renaissance time. Uh, it happened some centuries after. It's like today, I wake up and people say, hey -o, you are in Renaissance, good morning! <laughs> in 1401, the most famous corporation of Florence said uh, they, they decided to make a concourse to make a new door of a baptistry. Many artists showed uh, their projects for the doors of the baptistry. The corporation said, yeah, we want everything beautiful, but you have to save money because we don't want to spend very much. Brunelleschi made his project a little more expensive and Ghiberti made his project cheaper. And so they chose Ghiberti and he realized the second actually gate of the baptistry after the one of the already existed by Andrea Pisano. Andrea Pisano is one of the architects who built the cathedral and who built the bell tower. He built part of a cathedral after Arnolfo di Cambio. I think it's very beautiful. Something very important for young people to see all these things, you know, to bring memories, you know, back home. All my friends they prefer to go in the discotheques and not in the museum. So for me it's just a waste of time to go to the discotheque and waste uh, time. Florence today is a, an open sky museum because of the Medici, because of the Lorena family. The first one we can see was uh, Giovanni Di Bicci, who came from Mugello. He built a little bank inside uh, Republic Square, at the time it was called the Old Market. He started to, to, to make money and he became uh, very, very powerful. Giovanni Di Bicci was involved with Rome and he had another bank in Rome with the Vatican, with the church, with the Pope, and after he died, caused the old came to the power and he developed this money and many banks. He had banks in France, he had banks in Bruges, a very important bank in Bruges. And after many, 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 many centuries, the Medici family, they had the problem of uh, descent. They started to have many marriages uh, with inside the family. A lot of them died very young uh, and born with deformations, uh, etc. People of all over the world come in Italy to appreciate and uh, see, watch uh, our heart. Italian art influences all the young people and all the people in the world. It just makes people want to do something different, you know. And this is the kind of thing that you never get tired of.